Hello everyone. So here is a quick uh, demo and uh, instructions about the Elementor pop-ups and the problem they can have with the animations and the content. So I was working on a project here for a mobile section with, uh, and I was trying to use pop-ups to show up. Uh, even though I knew it was not optimal because of the problems I will show you. And it just would not cooperate on different devices. So right now these two icons are linked to a pop-up. So let's see how they behave. So quite nicely, quite perfect. And this one here is not linked to a pop-up. So it's pretty much the same. So now, uh, this is a Windows computer. So if you go in the Windows option, and you look at adjust the appearance and performance of Windows, if the two options here, animate controls, and elements inside windows. I think it's this option actually, just the first one. Uh, for some people, this option is off. And then uh, the pop ups, as you see, they just kind of show up and then go away. So this one is made with a normal Elementor section. So the animation is still just as smooth. And the same problem happens with smartphones. So let's see here, this is with uh, an iPhone. It kind of works all for you. And here, this is with an Android smartphone. So there it doesn't work, just like now with my computer. But this one works, because this is an Elementor section and not a pop-up. So this is what I wanted to show you about the animations. Uh, you have to know that on different smartphones, uh, Android or iPhones, sometimes the pop-up will work, and sometimes the pop-ups, they, they work. They still work, they still show up. Uh, but the animation is not smooth, not smooth at all. So if you don't need the conditions to display your pop-ups, you are better off using a normal Elementor section than a pop-up. The advantage to using the pop-ups anyway would be to use the different display conditions, like uh, the time uh, they would show up or only on the first visit or you know with cookies and stuff. So the, th this is not replicable easily with a normal section. But uh, otherwise, if it is to display only on a single post and on every, every page load or on a button click, then you, you are better off using an Elementor section within that page or within the footer or the header if it is for something like a full screen menu. And another thing about the pop-ups, is here in the instance when you choose where to display the pop-ups if you choose to uh, if this is set to entire website then it no matter if it is uh, load, loaded by a button or anything it will load in the browsers for everyone all the time so this means that if your pop-up has a lot of heavy images, uh, even if th that pop-ups just show like uh, on his first visit or something, the images will load in, will need to be loaded in, in his browser of the user every time. S so it will, add, it will add a lot of uh, heaviness to your website and it, your website will load uh, slower. So you need to be careful with, with the instances and with having many pop-ups uh, to be displayed on all, all your website. Try to really limit 
the instances to as little as you need. So that's it for now. And you, you can read my upcoming article about this. Thanks for watching.